spending coming down the road. And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, reaction from two Democratic congressmen. Joining us from Capitol Hill, Brad Sherman from California, and from Baltimore, Joe Sestak from Pennsylvania. All right, Congressman Sestak, being with you, um, the cost of the bill, does it worry you? We pay for this. You may disagree how we pay for it, Bill, but it is paid for. It's paid for by raising revenues, and it's paid for by finding savings in Medicare, as well as other means. But it is paid for. In fact, Congressional Budget Office says we save $120 billion this decade and much more next decade. And actually, is it going to save you, Bill? Absolutely. If you're in a family of four today, you actually pay $1,100 more for the uninsured than you would if they were covered. All right. Now that, so by covering them over time, you do save even more. Look, when you say the Congressional said. Budget Office, that was dealt with today in the Wall Street Journal, Congressman Sherman. I read it. Yes. By uh, saying that the Budget Office is only analyzing data given to it. And these are projections. Congressman Sestak says, okay, we're going to cut Medicare and save X amount of dollars. Some people don't believe that. It's unprovable. You can't prove it. So Congressman Sestak is believing, he's believing what the Democratic Obama line is. Do you believe that down the road, Congressman Sherman? Do you believe all that, that it's going to be fiscally beneficial for America? Look, if you don't, if you're an Indiana Colts fan, you say the referees got it wrong at the Super Bowl and your team really won. The fact is we have one referee. It is CBO. I don't always like them. But they do determine what the best. But if the data is, is faulty, that they now, now give as it. to the data being faulty, they have they get the data. The data is not uh, delivered to them. They start with all the data that they get on their own. As to the risk, the risk is if we do nothing, because well, right I, I, now nobody wants to do nothing. Who, do it, do it the like oh, I said the in Republican the program. Way. The Republican program does nothing for those with pre-existing conditions, and if you have coverage. Your Blue Cross card is shrinking. Okay, They're okay, but I don't want to look, 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 look. I'm not rooting for either about party. Healthcare. I'm not rooting for either party here. You got to get that. I'm not saying the Republican plan is better or the Democratic plan is better, but I am saying it is impossible for any human being on this earth to say with certainty that you're going to pull this much money out of Medicare. You don't know. You also don't know the unintended consequences of the Medicare cuts. Doctors could walk away. Uh, health clinics could shut down. Hospitals could say, we don't want to cover Medicare patients anymore. It isn't worth it. You might have to force them to do it. All of these things Bill, make the risk. All those things risk. could happen if right. we Bill, don't act. You can, and, Bill, you have to make up your mind. You can keep saying, I don't believe, I don't believe. But the Congress for decades has had one nonpartisan office that actually looks and studies for one factual place we can go, both Republican and Democrat, whether it was the Bush tax cuts or whether it's President Obama's health care plan, that is the one place we go for That's a nonpartisan the CBO. opinion. But what the CBO can't do is it can't project income from tax rises, can't, because people may leave the country. And number two, it can't project cuts that haven't been made yet. But he, this, this, this disturbs me. Uh, you guys, you guys are smart does guys. Do I, wouldn't that, have you, I wouldn't have you on the show if you were the Sanchez sisters, with all due respect. Okay? You're smart guys. All right? You know. Well, I think the Sanchez sisters are very effective members of Congress. All right, very Sherman, I know you have to say that, but you, you're from California. I don't have but to you say that. that. I'm saying it because it's true. Go All on. right, but I wouldn't have them on to discuss this option. I'm having you guys on because you're smart guys. You know Medicare is in trouble. You know Medicaid's in trouble. You know Social Security's in trouble. You know the federal government is not going to be able to meet its obligations on those three fronts. Now you're going to both, both of you, for another trillion dollar plus entitlement that will probably run into the two, three, four trillion dollar range. You guys know, and you've got to be honest with the folks here, the feds are never going to be able to pay the bill. They can't pay the bill, guys. No matter actually, how much you tax actually, me, this you're not going to be able to pay the bill. We reduce the deficit by a trillion dollars. If we need the trillion dollars of deficit reduction this bill will provide. If and you, you know to that for sure. And we throw away, you're a hundred percent certain. That it could it's be too. I don't have 100% assurance that I'm waking up tomorrow, but you've got to go with the CBO. I don't have 100% right. assurance that the Saints won the Super Bowl, but the, that's what the umpire had to say. Well, the Saints did win the Super Bowl. We know that as a fact, and we also know that the three uh, entitlements if, if I just mentioned you want to say the referees had it wrong, go right back. ahead. Now, listen, I'm worried about this, guys, and you should be worried about it, too. You know, we're heading to bankruptcy. You know, you Mr. Sherman, you live in a state that's already bankrupt. 
All right? You better than anyone know what this but is going to be. But we also know this. We know, and I know you say nobody wants to do nothing, but we do know this, that if nothing is done, by 2030, one-third of our gross domestic product will right. go. Put me in charge. I'll, I'll do cost. something about it. Just if we no, can no, get no, an the executive Congressional order, Budget I'll Office actually has projected, not badly, whether it was the Bush tax cuts or whether it is health care, uh, the past uh, efforts right. in CHIP, the Children's Health Code, it maybe it isn't right on the dime, but it has truly been inside the inside of the uh, uh, running the bases there. All right, I got to go, guys. It's not done badly. Bill, we appreciate the debate. Thing. We appreciate the debate. It was very good. Thank you very much for helping us out tonight. Next on the rundown, Laura Ingram will react to what you just.